You may have heard of USB Type-C ports on laptops, ultrabooks, tablets, and smartphones. But what we have here is the world's first SSD that comes with a USB Type-C port. But in fact, this is also the world's first dual interface SSD from Apacer. This is the Apacer AS720 SSD with 240 gigs of storage. And we are going to unbox this device and find out how it performs in real world usage. The AS720 is fairly straightforward. It looks no different from a 2.5 inch solid state drive or a laptop hard drive. And on the top here, we have a very nice gold color chassis with some patterns on top, which is actually useful if you are thinking to use it as a portable hard drive. You need to look good, hence you need the design. So on the front here, we have a USB Type-C port and here is the SATA 6 gigabit per second port that you can plug it into your desktop. So this is a pretty good hard drive if you're thinking to use it as either as a computer hard drive or if you want to transfer this hard drive to another computer without deleting anything inside and run an operating system in it, this is going to be a pretty useful hardware for such people. In terms of packaging, the AS720 comes with a powerful storage and if you happen to misplace a Nexus 6-piece USB Type-C cable, the AS720 does come with a rather short but high quality USB Type-C cable. That's a pretty quick hardware tour of the AS720 and let's move on to our test bench to find out its performance. Now let's find out the benchmark's results when it is connected to a SATA connector. So my test bench is an ASUS Z97 Sabertooth Mark 1 with an Intel Core 74790K Devil's Canyon processor. So the hard drive has 224 gigs of storage upon format. So this is a mint hard drive, first time user, which is why I'm so excited to find out what is its performance going to be. Okay, the benchmark has just completed and look at that score. This is actually very impressive for a solid state drive. So the AS720 scores a sequential read speed of 540 megabytes per second and a write speed of around 460 megabytes per second. Even look at this, um, 4K read speeds aren't that good, but write speed is surprisingly pretty good. So it means that if you are transferring small little bits of files to this solid state drive, it would be very good in terms of performance. So this means that you can actually copy games easily over to the hard drive and you can pretty much just plug it into any PC of yours and run the game smoothly with its impressive read speeds right here. Okay, so let's find out how it fares when we connect a USB Type-C cable through our USB 3 port. Okay, there you go guys. Let's do this round of tests with USB Type-C. We have the same test count, same test size, and there you go, this is the SSD itself. And let's begin. Okay guys, so here's the results on USB Type-C. As you can see, there is a significant drop in performance on write speeds, which is more than 50% of performance drops as you can see. Read speed still isn't too bad considering it is a USB connection, but really write speed is a little bit too disappointing for the SSD. As you can see guys, the AS720 performs exceptionally well when it comes to sequential read write and even 4K read write when it is connected onto its SATA port. But when it comes to USB Type-C, well, read speeds are considered okay when it is on USB, but write speeds is unfortunately the disappointing one, which means if you are using USB Type-C on this SSD, you wouldn't be able to expect those really fast write speeds on an SSD drive, which I think if you go and buy a 7200 RPM hard drive, it would work better than this SSD right here. So that's it for the first look and quick review of the Apacer AS720. Hit up klgadgetguy.com to read your daily bite of tech news and remember to click on the subscribe button down below to subscribe to us for more upcoming videos. And give us a thumbs up if you like what you saw, thumbs down if you think we can improve. But remember when you click on the thumbs down button, make sure you leave a comment down there so we know where we did wrong and where we could actually improve in whatever cases. We're on social media as well or you can Hit up on my Twitter and Instagram account at the Warren Lee. My name is Warren with KL Gadget TV, and I'll catch you on the next one.